Ayats on Capitol Hill has Atlanta on high alert tonight. Officials now taking measures to protect the state capitol. CBS 46's Haley Mason is live there tonight with more on what's being done. Haley. Rick, today is one that many would call one of the darkest days in modern American history when protesters turned anarchists tried to overthrow a presidential election. Well, their actions are having an impact on the security decisions at our capital. Anarchy and sheer chaos erupted as rioters infiltrated the United States Capitol. Governor Brian Kemp condemning the actions and activating the Georgia National Guard for standby here. That has been a disgrace and quite honestly un-American. Kemp, who's been repeatedly bullied by President Trump for not overturning Georgia's election results, criticized the president's lawyer for promoting the violence. Rudy Giuliani saying, quote, trial by combat, end quote is simply outrageous, and there is no place for that in our nation. Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan and House Speaker David Ralston also made their disdain clear. I call on Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, to speak with all the clarity in the world as to exactly what Americans should do at this point in Washington, D.C. They should exit the Capitol peacefully, and they should allow democracy to once again shine. Outside the Georgia Capitol, Trump supporters protested without incident. Inside the building, State Capitol Police removed Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger from his office out of caution as protests in Washington grew. His spokesman tells me their office will be working remotely for the rest of the week. Later, President Trump's Twitter account suspended as he continued to make false claims about the election being stolen from him, then asking his supporters to go home. And right now you see this construction around the state capitol. That's because they're actually building a large fence to protect the building from protests. Uh, unexpected that one would get this out of control. But nonetheless, the state legislature will reconvene on Monday. The security will be the top priority. The National Guard will be activated through Monday. Reporting live at the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.